Okay, I've been uh, asked how to set up vacuum with using a standalone vacuum gauge like this one right here. It's simple enough to use, but I'm going to give you kind of a sequence here. I'm going to hook it up to a cylinder here that I'm going to commission. I just got this in. I have dumped the nitrogen out of it. It has about 60 or 70 pounds of nitrogen in it. And I'm going to evacuate this cylinder and I'm going to do it using this gauge. Now in the past I've used a manifold gauge set, the, the uh, field piece uh, that had the uh, micron gauge on it. In this case I'm not, I'm going to use this gauge here. Now a little bit about this gauge, it's, uh, this is a JB. You can see I have a plug in the bottom of this thing. You should always have a plug down here. Uh, don't leave this thing open in the atmosphere. It's just not good for the for the sensor. You also try to keep oil out of that silly thing. Let's look a little more wide angle at what we've got set up here. I've got the vacuum pump here. I've got a manifold gauge set here. I've got the uh, vacuum pump hooked up to the low side and the process tube is going over here. Now I'm going to show this, show you what this looks like here. We have two valves on this cylinder. I hook up to either one of these, doesn't make any difference which one to do. One's liquid and one's gas. But it doesn't make any difference which one I hook it up to. Then I'm going to take the micron gauge and I'm going to hook it up here. Now this is just the opposite valve that I hook the other up to. I'm going to open these valves and back seat the valves. I'm going to open the gauge set. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open or start the vacuum pump. Open this valve. I don't want to put high pressure into this vacuum pump. Uh, I'm, I would dump the gas out of the cylinder until I was just about zero and now I'm evacuating. This is open, this is open, this is open, and this is open. Right now I'm still showing 5,000, which uh, is just barely evacuated. It does take a while for this to happen, so I'm going to leave it on for a while and then we'll get back to it. Okay, here we are after about 20 minutes. It's about 725, 725, 742, whatever the heck. Uh, it's pretty much staying there. So I'm going to call this good. I'd like to see 500, but I'll tell you, sometimes you just don't get it. This thing is actually is not a new cylinder. It's actually an older cylinder. I'm just evacuating it again to show how it's done. And... Uh, it's probably got a little oil in the bottom of it, and so you're probably not going to get much lower than that. But that's all there is to it. It's really not complicated. Be sure you shut off everything before you pull this vacuum off of it. Start here. Close the valve closest to the uh, gauge set. The next one going to the manifold set, the final one, or the next one on the manifold set, then at the vacuum pump, and shut it down, and you're done.